Hello, welcome to my channel. As you know, I am trying to machine in Crevar with my small lathe for my projects. This is very hard and time consuming process for a small lathe such as my Proxon. Also, it is a torture test for my lathe. But Proxon lathe can do the job. I had some ideas to make it faster and easier. My first problem is after cutting Crevar, sides are not flat for drilling a pilot hole for tailstock. I can't make face turning with Proxon because I'm using 16mm rebar and its turned outer surface can't be holding with Proxon jaws. I previously used my 100mm chuck to hold rebar, but I hold chuck with Proxon small chuck from 20mm inside diameter, which is not possible to force it for face turning. Now I came with the idea of holding my bigger chuck more safely by holding it from inside. I'm unscrewing my chuck protecting backplate to remove it. Rebar can pass through from chuck. I also change Proxon's jaws with reverse ones. I'm now installing bigger chuck to Proxon's small chuck by clamping it from inside. Oops, I accidentally lose the jaw and chuck dropped, but luckily it didn't make any dent on the rails. This time I carefully install it from inside to Proxon chuck and tighten it very well. I hope this will not cause any problem while turning. But to prevent any future accidents I put a towel on the rails. During turning, if chuck loose and drop, I hope this towel will protect late. I'm expecting to face milling for shorter parts with this technique. Seems everything is okay. I could machine this face enough for drilling. I'm afraid to go further. I'm not drilling for tailstock.
from my previous experience, I can't cut other part of rebar with high speed steel. So I will use my homemade carbide boring tipped cutter. I'm leveling it with using shims. Now it's perfect. I'm cutting a small portion from other side of rebar to hold with proxon chuck and continue. Somehow other part is very hard for cutting, but once I cut other part and bringing it to a smooth diameter, it's very easy and silent to continue cutting. I can cut it very precise with also high speed steel, but I can't cut other part with high speed steel. Now I'm cutting other end to achieve a flat surface for drilling. Now I can continue with proxon chuck. I have to change proxon chuck's jobs again.
turns of the rebar can break high speed steel. Even with my carbide insert, it's not easy to cut other parts. It's very noisy. I can't go over 0.5 to 0.1 mm cutting depth. It's very time consuming, but I got some perfect surface for holding the proxon chuck. I'm trying to continue cutting the other dimensions, but it's really hard with my limited tools. It's too noisy and I can't cut deep. Also turning hand build many times is very tired. Vibrations also losing the screw which holds the carbide cutter. Unfortunately, I need to stop here because it's been very time consuming and noisy. At home, this is not convenient and makes me tired. I also tried to use my other homemade carbide tools but they are the same. Holder of the bits are not hardened, they chatter and still make sounds. I bought set of cutters and still quick change tool paws to use with my lathe. I'm waiting for delivery and will continue when I got them. Please subscribe and continue to see if they will work better. Thank you for watching.